Hey everyone, so I wanted to share with you the lipsticks I would run out and buy if I had to start my lipstick collection all over. You guys know how many lipsticks I have. So this was, this was pretty tough, this was pretty tough. So I think I narrowed it down to 12, maybe 13, you guys know. I, I try and like create like a number around these lists so I don't get too crazy and I always, I'll like, say, okay, 10, then I have 11, 15, I have 16. So this time I have 12, but kind of like 13. Anyway, apologies. <laughs> All right, so I have a mixture of like lip glosses, lipsticks, uh, like l tinted lip balms, things like that. And uh, I have a lot of nudes in here as well. That's not really a surprise. Um, let's actually go ahead and get started with what's on my lips since I can't decide. This is the uh, Christian Louboutin So Glow uh, I think lipstick and it is a, you know, like a moderately pigmented lip product. It's not like a one swipe lipstick, like those crazy pigmented lipsticks, but it's also not as light as a tinted balm. So it's someplace in there, but it definitely feels like a tinted balm. It is such a, it's such a soft lipstick without it being like physically soft in the bullet. Like there are some, uh, lip products out there that are just so soft, but they're also like super mushy and they get really, really messy. And if you press down too hard, they kind of spread out and yeah, they get like super sloppy. This is not like that. It's soft, very, very soft feeling, but the bullet is still very firm. So it's a really interesting formula. And I do love that it feels like a balm, but it's, it's just a little bit more pigmented than just like a tinted balm but not as crazy as like one of those one swipe ones. Anyway, this shade is Orange Euphory, and I love the shade. This is one of those bright reddish orange shades that I love, and I have a ton of them. And this is definitely, for sure, one of the ones I would run out and purchase first if I had to start my lipstick collection over. I have another one in here, but this one is, yeah, this one is so, so good. And it just glows, much like the name says, So Glow Lipstick. This shade, it's like light emanating from your lips. So not only do I love the formula of this, but this particular shade is gorgeous. So I would definitely run out and repurchase this. The other bright orange shade I would run out and purchase is one that I keep misplacing because I keep throwing it into my purse and then I change purses and then sometimes I leave it in my car. I did a quick search for it in all of the bags that I've recently used. Cannot find it, but I think you guys have seen me wear it enough, talk about it enough. It is the Sicily Fito Lip Twist in the shade number seven, Coral. It is a little bit lighter in pigmentation than this because that one is a true tinted balm. And I would say the color is not quite as fluorescent. It is. Uh, like a very similar tone, but it's not quite as bright. It's maybe a little bit, a teensy bit redder versus uh, like this kind of fluorescent orange. Um, gorgeous formula, love that shade number seven. Of course, I'll pop a picture of it up here because again, I apologize, I cannot find <laughs> this uh, tinted lip balm. Again, this is I think the second video where I've mentioned it and I couldn't find it. Anyway, I may have to get uh, a couple of them just so I can leave them around everywhere. But this is the product where I'm cheating on because um, I decided I would also run out and purchase the Fito Lip Twist in number 24. So I'm counting this as one product, even though it's two, but this 24 is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude, my lips but better kind of shade. And I think you can get a feel for the formula just by looking at this swatch, because can you see like the glossiness of it? It is such an incredible formula. I love that it comes in this crayon. I find those uh, of this like shape to be really easy to apply. And yeah, I just, I really, really love this formula. I probably have like 10 shades of this Fito Lip Twist. Uh, most recently I got number two, Baby, which is a really light, cool tone pink. And I've been loving that also uh, for my cool tone eye looks. Um, but 24 and seven, those are the two I would run out and get like immediately. Just either place an online order immediately or just run out to my, nearest department store and just purchase it again. So uh, the Sicily Fito Lip Twists, I would run out and get those. And then, yeah, let's just get into the sea of nudes. So this lipstick I actually have not talked about in a while, but I love this lipstick. I love the packaging, which we'll talk about. I love the shade. Um, and I love the formula of this one too. So this is a Bond number no. nine satin lipstick. And the case for these, 
uh, look very similar to their perfume bottles. It has that kind of uh, hourglass shape to it. And then they have like an old school, like New York City token, subway token on there. Um, these cases are so cool. So you pull this out and this is refillable um, and your lipstick is in there. And then it kind of gets like sucked back in. I don't know if it's like a magnet or it's like, it actually feels like an air suction. It's actually really cool. Anyway, the shade that I pulled out, the one that I really love is Gramercy Park. And I've actually had these lipsticks for a long time. And I feel like, I feel like they're still good, but maybe it's time to refresh them a little bit. But here is Gramercy Park. Let me do a swatch. So this is just a great, great, like cooler toned, a nude shade. And what I love about this formula is it actually feels pretty hard when you first apply it. And I thought, ooh, this is gonna be kind of drying when I first tried these out. But it does this really magical thing. Like once you apply it, once you get past that kind of like, oh, this feels a little bit hard, it like softens up and it just melts into your lips. And then within like a minute, it doesn't even feel like you have lipstick on. It is the craziest formula. It is so, so good and they came out with this whole line of like red shades and then they came out with this whole line of nude shades and all of the nudes this one uh is probably my favorite but a very very close second i think is hudson yards i think that's the one um but i love 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 the formula it is really really unique i've never felt anything like this bond number nine formula it's really good really really good uh so hard to resist too when it comes in this package. Uh, but that is number three on my list. Number four on my list, another one, it's not going to come as any surprise, but it's a Rouge Coco Flash uh, shade. And Rouge Coco Flash from Chanel is one of my all-time favorite formulas because it is just this really gorgeous, glossy sort of formula. And the shade that I would run out and buy first is Boy, number 54. They have a lot of shades that I love, but they're all limited edition and not available. But Boy is one that is part of the regular line, one that I can run out and purchase. And it's like a tinted balm. You guys know, I love a tinted balm. And it's just so comfortable. And I really, really love this finish that it leaves the lips. It makes your lips look um, like blurred and then it gives it that kind of like a satiny, like vinyl kind of finish to them. It's really awesome. And I love the formula because of that. I mean, it's comfortable, but it also like just looks really cool. And it's not even dependent on the shade. All of the Rouge Coco flashes that I've tried give that kind of um, like smooth glossiness, not that super high shine glossiness, but that kind of like satin finish glossiness that I love. So that is, definitely a lip product I would run out and buy if all of my lip products were to disappear. <laughs> and speaking of Chanel, this is another one that will come as no surprise, but the Rouge uh, Coco Gloss in 804 uh, Rose Naif. I have probably three of these. This is the one that's sitting in here because I learned my lesson and I should do that with the Sisley Fito Twist, number seven, um, but I probably have three of these. Yeah, like one in my purse, one in a different purse, one upstairs, one here, wherever they are. This gloss, Okay, this gloss will make you look like you got filler. If you just use uh, a liner that is a little bit contouring, like the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, or the Natasha Denona Natasha, or um, Ilona pencils, um, any of those that just give like a little bit of a shadow to uh, your lip line, and then you kind of smudge that in, and then you just finish it off with this gloss. There is something magical about this gloss. It is so plumping looking and there's that kind of like vinyl shine again it's like shiny right you see the reflect but it's not like that wet high gloss that makes you look like you're drooling i really kind of am not a fan of that like super high gloss on the lips i mean on occasion it's it's definitely a look but just to make your lips look a little plumper make them look a little bit filled this is incredible and i really don't know like there's nothing to this shade it's barely tinted but there's just something about it. It just makes your lips look like they've ballooned out. I don't know, it's crazy. Every time I wear this uh, lip gloss, I always get asked, did I get something done to my lips? And I can say no. It's just the Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in 804. 
And speaking of glosses, I will just talk about the one other gloss that is in this list. And this is by Make Beauty. This is their Serum Balm. And I, you guys know how much I love these. I have every single shade, <laughs> but the one I would go out and purchase first is Nude Nova, just because it's, it's nude. It's probably the most versatile. Not like any of them are super tinted, but this one is just nude. It's the most nude. So there is Nude Nova and there it is again. There's that finish that is like a like a glossy satin, but not super like goopy looking. Oof, it's beautiful. And because this is more of like a skincare product versus a makeup product, this will actually like make the fine lines in your lips kind of disappear. It really nourishes the lips and it's so, so comfortable. It's not long wearing. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna last all day. Definitely not. You're gonna want to reapply this uh, during the day like most glosses, uh, but it's a joy. It is a joy to reapply <laughs> these Make Beauty Serum Balms. I love them. So that's New Nova um, and that is number six on my list. Okay. Wow, where should I move to from here? All right, let me mention the ones that I've talked a lot about, especially in recent past. Natasha Denona, uh, My Dream Lipstick. So this is, it's like her I Need a Nude lipstick, but this was part of her My Dream collection. And I believe this is basically like a repackaged one from her regular line. And this is just in the shade Natasha, not just, but in the shade Natasha. This shade is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It is a gorgeous nude. And this paired with her lip liner that came out with this collection, it does a very similar thing that the Rouge Coco uh, gloss does where it really just looks like your lips are like full. They've just ballooned out. Yeah, they just look like they've been filled. So I do love this cool toned nude. It has like a really strong pinky kind of undertone. So if you're afraid like cooler toned nude kind of lipsticks will make you look a little bit too corpse-like, I would try this one or try any nude that has like kind of a strong pink undertone because it'll keep it cool. The pink will keep it cool, um, but it'll also keep it from looking too gray, uh, which is that corpse-like look. Um, so anyway, that's the Natasha Denona Natasha lipstick. Um, another nude that I love and another formula that I love is the Giorgio Armani Lip Power. I pulled out shade 102, which it, look how disgusting this is. <laughs> So this lipstick, I love. I find this formula to be really, really moisturizing, yet it is very long wearing. It is a very, very interesting, interesting formula. And I have definitely gotten some comments where people found this lipstick to be dry. I don't find that to be the case. In fact, I just swatched it and you can see, do you see how emollient it is? I don't find mine to be dry at all. You can even see how glossy it is, maybe it's just me, or maybe it happens to be a shade that's a little bit uh, drier. I have a lot of shades and I find them all to be very moisturizing. Uh, but anyway, they are very, very long wearing, despite the fact that they go on and they feel like, like a cream lipstick, just gorgeous. I love the shade range too. They've even extended the shade range, I wanna say a few months ago, to include more nudes which is great, but this 102 is actually part of their original line and I love it. I really, really love this color and I really love this formula and I love the packaging. I love the shape of this bullet. It's closer to like a stilo shape versus just a traditional lipstick bullet shape and I think it's just easier to apply without making a mess, kind of staying in the lines, just makes it a lot easier. So I love everything about this lipstick. The shades, the formula, the packaging, like everything. That is number eight on my list. And then another lipstick I've been talking a lot about uh, lately are the new Clay de Peau lipsticks. And I pulled out number 12, Power Mauve. And I was gonna pull out number 11, which is the shade that I probably have been using, I don't know, maybe the same, the same amount as number 12. But number 11 is definitely like that kind of ideal, cooler tone nude shade that I really love. But I have so many nudes in here. And I thought, okay, if I'm like, realistically starting a lipstick collection over again, I would probably wanna vary my nudes a little bit. So anyway, I really love this Power Mauve shade from Clay de Peau. This one is cool toned, but it has that rosiness in there, which again, keeps it from looking too corpse-like on your lips. So this is like a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. It's a deeper nude for me, for someone with my complexion, it's definitely deeper than just a straight up nude, but it is 
really, really beautiful. And I love, love this kind of cooler toned mauve shade. And then a lipstick that is definitely one of my cool toned nude favorites, which is the Dries Van Noten, and I always forget the number. I think it's 14, it's on the side of this. Yeah, satin number 14, and look at this guy. Can you see how much cooler it is? Actually, I'll swatch it right next to Power Mauve. I mean, swatch next to Power Mauve, it makes the mauve shade look almost warm, but there is number 14 from G. Van Noten. I love, love, love a really cool toned nude. I am a fan of that corpse, <laughs> corpse-like lip look. Yeah, so that is Dries Van Noten. And this formula is actually, it's similar, similar in feel to the Louboutin So Glow lipstick. I think there's a little bit more, I would say there's a little bit more pigmentation to it, but not a ton. It's not like one of those overly pigmented or, or overly saturated lipsticks. It's just like just a nice, creamy, comfortable, ba almost balmy kind of lipstick. Um, so that's the Dries Van Noten and it comes in these gorgeous cases. There's a whole bunch of different ones and they are refillable, uh, which is very nice. Um, so that is number 14. Um, and then these last two that I wanted to share with you are two that have been around in my collection for a long time. So long that I've actually repurchased them. So the Surratt Lip Slick in Club Sept. This is, I mean, the first time I got this was maybe seven or eight years ago. And I, it was like one of those like revelations because I hadn't worn such a, a fudgy brownie kind of lip in years, in years, years, like we're talking since like the 90s. Um, and I fell in love with not only the shade, the fudgy brown shade, but also this formula. So this formula is, again, it's sort of like a, a, like a middle ground pigmented kind of lip product. It is uh, very, very balmy and glossy. So it is very similar to the Louboutin. It is very, very similar to um, the Rouge Coco Flash, to the Sisley, like you're sensing a theme, right? So this is very similar to those, but this color, oh, it's so good. It is like the perfect, perfect 90s brown shade. So that is Club Sept from Surratt in this lip slick. And I love these lip slick bullets. They're thinner, you know, they're even thinner than the lip power from Armani. So again, I just find them easy, easy, easy to put on. The only downside to this packaging is it's one of those, like when you click, you can't click it back. So it's like, once it's up, that's it. Um, at least, yeah, that's how I remember. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. I thought maybe I was wrong. Um, but that is Lip Slick Surratt. The shade is Club Sept, gorgeous. And the last lip product I wanted to mention, I mean, you knew I could not go <laughs> a lipstick video without talking about Chantecaille. So the Chantecaille Lip Veil, and I'm holding up the box because this is a new one. The other one was too old, uh, but it is in the shade Tambodi. And the Lip Veil, the Lip Chic from Chantecaille, both of those lip formulas are so good. They literally feel like skincare versus makeup. I've said this so many times, but it's like a lip mask for your lips. There is nothing more nourishing for your lips than this lip chic or lip veil either from Chantecaille. And they just make your lips feel so much better after you've worn the makeup than before, which is to me unheard of, especially with lipstick. No matter how nourishing a lipstick can be, you know, sometimes I feel like I can take it off at the end of the day and feel no different which is great, that's like ideal. But most of the time, especially with lipstick, I'll take it off and my lips will feel a little flaky, a little bit drier, a little parched, um, but they will actually feel better after I wear a Chantecaille uh, lip veil or lip chic. So this is the lip veil in Tambodi, which is another like really perfect, perfect nude shade. Here is Tambodi. See, it's, it's pink, it's a little bit, um, you know, prettier than the other ones. This is a little bit more quote unquote natural too versus the other ones, which I feel like we're either a little bit more cool toned or deeper or whatever, but this is a very pretty shade. And this also is not like a overly saturated kind of pigmented lipstick. It has 
very similar again to all of these like kind of uh, tinted balms or whatever, like the lip slick, like the so glow. It just has like a really nice level of pigmentation, not overly saturated where like, I have to be super careful with that first swipe because if I make a mistake, it's all over. Um, this is definitely a lot easier to use than that. Those are the first lip products I would run out and purchase if for whatever reason, my lipstick collection just disappeared or was lost or was stolen, whatever the case, if it was, if it left, if it disappeared, these are the first lip products that I would run out and purchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your favorites are. Like these are favorite favorites, right? Like these are the ones you would run out and purchase. These are all still available too. So that was part of the task here. I couldn't, couldn't pick out like, limited edition ones that you can't buy anymore. Uh, so anyway, let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.